Okay, just to clarify a few definitions, let's take a look here. There is a target population, that's the population to which you would ultimately like to have your results generalize. But what happens is sometimes you don't have access to that whole population. For example, if we were trying to contact everybody by telephone, if we were doing that by home phone numbers, we wouldn't include anybody that has cell phones, or at least the people like me that don't have a home phone and rely solely on a, a cell phone. The study population in this case would be only people with home phones. Once we have that study population, then we're going to have to come up with a sampling frame. Frequently that's going to be, or at least the easiest way to think about that is just a list of people from whom we would select our random sample. So that's just the list of at least our study population or everybody that we can find in the study population. Sampling frame is just a list of everybody that's in the study population. So for example, if we had a list of all students at the university, we might have a list of 1 to 15,000. And that would be our sampling frame. And then from that sampling frame, we would actually do our sample on a random sample of individuals selected from that sampling frame.